What's happening everyone, Ed from TechSource, and yes, in case you haven't noticed, we do have a new channel logo. I was going for more of a cleaner, minimalistic look, and I'm absolutely satisfied with our new logo, and it seems like a lot of you guys liked it too, so that's good. But we're not here to talk about the new logo, we are here to check out some cool budget setups, and of course, the total cost of the setup would be around $2,000 USD or less. That includes the cost of the PC. If you guys wanna be a part of the show, make sure to watch the video linked down below. But with that said, sit back and relax, because you know what time it is. If you guys were given $20,000 to build your dream setup, what would it look like? Because with today's sponsor, Omaze, that could be a reality. Always wanted to cover your entire wall with nanoleaf panels? Go for it. Want to play Cyberpunk in 4K with maxed out settings? Consider it done. You can spend the money on any PC you want or build your very own from scratch. You can quite literally build your dream setup, whether it's for gaming, productivity, working from home, or a combination of everything. With Omaze, you have the chance of winning an awesome prize while supporting a great cause. They teamed up with the Bungie Foundation and Children's Miracle Network Hospitals to help give back to our kids. You guys can potentially win the $20,000 towards your dream setup and support a great cause at the same time. It's truly a win-win situation here. Even if you guys don't end up winning, you're still helping support a great cause. So make sure to visit omaze.com source or click the link down below. Kicking off the episode is Chico from the Philippines and his super compact setup. He's an art dealer who is married with two kids and this is the setup he uses for gaming, light productivity and media consumption. So a little bit of backstory. Chico doesn't quite have the space in his home to build a setup due to his kids, so his wife gave him permission to use a small space beside their cabinets to build a setup. Hence why he is right behind a door and if it wasn't for the door stopper on the ground, it would get pretty annoying constantly having the door slam into your face. I do have to say that I love his taste in design. Even though he was given such a small space to work with, he did such a great job with the decorating aspect. Adding a piece of art on the wall with a few wall shelves to the side holding up some collectibles and a small drawer on the bottom that doubles as a stand for his PC and storage. They say you can tell a lot about a person by the way they dress. Well, in this case, I can tell a lot about Chico just by the presentation of the setup. I can tell he's a very sharp person. He's also a very clean person who likes to be organized all the time with attention to detail. Every inch of the setup has been carefully planned and executed, all the way to even the cable management with a built-in raceway to channel all the wires. And even his PC is looking sharp. It's packing the Ryzen 5 3600 and the Zotac RTX 2060 Super. I'm sure you probably already know this, but Noctua does make black fans, which will look a lot better in that build. This setup is such a great example that even if you have space limitations, that shouldn't stop you from building a great setup. Here's another setup that made very good use of the limited space. So Dan's from the UK and he is a military engineer who's also married and had a baby. Well, Dan's office is now the baby's room, so he was forced to relocate to the very edge of his living room, where he built this compact setup for gaming, photo editing, and work. He picked up the desk from Ikea, which not only fits perfectly in the corner, but also matches his dresser. He spent a little under 2,000 pounds for this entire setup. I love that he removed the shelves from the desk to fit his custom PC in there, and bonus points for going with a monitorizer to free up some extra space on the desk to store your laptop. I know you're on a tight budget, but eventually it would be a great idea to replace the tape that's holding up your USB hub with actual double-sided 3M tape. But overall, really good use of space in your living room. Coming in at number three is Daniel from the UK and his super clean modern setup. I think the most important piece of any setup is the desk. That is essentially the face of the setup and the foundation at the same time. It will either make or break any setup. So picking the right desk that not only gives you the space to build what you want, but also matches your setup's theme is really important. Just like Daniel's selection on his desk, I think he picked the perfect desk for this setup. I've seen so many cool setups on the show that have the awesome factor stripped away because of the selection of the desk. And I get it, you guys, not everyone has the money to go out and buy a brand new desk. You know, a lot of people rely on what they have lying around the house or they go out and buy used. But I always recommend saving up for a desk first before you begin building your setup. Because guess what? Once your setup's complete, it's gonna be really difficult to take everything apart and start all over once you do have a new desk. So 
it just makes sense to start on a foundation that you're completely happy with. I just love the simplicity and maturity of this setup. There isn't any flashy RGB lights or nano leaf panels, it just works. I also love the custom wall art he added for a bit of personalization and the amazing wallpaper that completes the look. I think it was a really great choice going with the white version of the wallpaper on the adjacent walls to add a bit of contrast in the setup. Even the PC fits in perfectly. Daniel isn't here to show off or prove to anyone that he has a killer setup and I like that about him. However, I do have one slight concern about your headphone placement. I don't think that's the best location because not only is it inconvenient reaching for that, but you can also see the cables hanging down from a distance, which goes against the super clean setup you're going for. I would just pick up a cheap headphone hanger and attach it to the side of your drawer, but make sure to wrap the cables around the headband so they don't hang. Here is another clean setup by Evan from Greece. He was going for that white on black aesthetic and I think he did a really good job. This entire setup costs about 2,000 euros, which he earned from summer jobs. Talk about dedication. We got the Lemon Tabletop and Alex Jor combo and a single 24 inch 144 hz monitor for gaming and schoolwork. For peripherals, he's using the Anpro 2 wireless keyboard and the glorious model of gaming mouse. And finally, the PC powering the setup is a good looking budget build featuring the Ryzen 5 3600 and the GTX 1660 Ti. This was such a simple and clean setup until I discovered the 120 millimeter fan on the wall, which raised one question and one question only. Why? It's not even centered. So what possible reason could that be there other than to mess with people's OCDs? I guess since we're on the topic, it would be nice to add a bit of art on the walls to kind of personalize the setup because it's looking a bit too clean. Now this is what I'm talking about, a Kobe Bryant themed setup by Jay from the Philippines. He's using a desk he picked up from Facebook Marketplace but he skinned it in black wood vinyl, just like how I did with the hybrid setup I built on the channel earlier this year. It's looking really good with that skin on top of it, not to mention it protects the desk from damages over time. So if you plan on reselling it later, then it's gonna bring you more value. It's sort of like protecting your investment in a way. So on the desk, he's rocking a 24 inch Philips monitor that he does all his gaming and work on. And for peripherals, he's using the Ola keyboard and Logitech G305 mouse. I love how he's able to take advantage of the wall behind the setup to add a clothes hanger holding up some Kobe jerseys. Jay stated in the notes he wasn't going for a super flashy setup, but more on the budget and simplistic side, and I think he achieved it. Even the PC contributes to the Kobe color scheme. We got the Ryzen 5 3600 and RX 5600 XT with custom black cables looking really good. However, I do want to point out that you have the top two fans as intake instead of exhaust. I'm not sure if that was intentional or what, but I figured I would point it out anyways. Cables are also managed really well with the help of those ginormous raceways and a few cable clips. Well done. I think you did a great job in not only keeping under your budget, but also not being afraid to personalize your setup to pay tribute to the GOAT, Kobe Bryant. May he rest in peace. All right, that is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm just kidding. I'm actually in a really good mood today, so let's do another five setups, yeah? Keeping the momentum going is Joe from Rhode Island and his retro futuristic gaming setup. These colors always look so good together and I don't think I can ever get tired of seeing them. It's a coincidence coming across this setup considering I recently did a futuristic retro PC build on the channel. So if you guys missed it, definitely check it out. So he built this on top of the IKEA glass home tabletop, but that didn't stop him from building a super clean setup. He's rocking a 27 inch 144 hz monitor from Asus that he does everything on. And for peripherals, he's using the Razer Huntsman Elite keyboard with the Logitech G502 Hero. I like that he routed the mouse cable underneath the PC instead of having it going across the desk. There aren't any speakers in this setup. Instead, he relies on the HyperX Cloud 2s as the main audio source. I gotta admit, placing your controller behind the monitor like that is pretty clever and very budget friendly. I do think that you can improve your cable management though. It's nice to see you attaching the power strip underneath the desk, but using a few raceways can help hide the rest of the cables. And finally, the PC powering it all is a semi-budget build. He's using an i7-8086K CPU with the GTX 1050 Ti for some odd reason. He stated in the notes that he accidentally ordered the wrong GPU instead of going with the 1070 Ti, which makes no sense. Why couldn't you just return the GPU? In any case, I think it built a pretty sweet gaming setup, but it can definitely use some more work to improve. Leo was up next with our very first budget laptop setup. He was going for a clean and minimal Stormtrooper themed setup for gaming, productivity, and schoolwork. Already, I'm loving the presentation. I think going with the gray Mickey desk was a great choice for the setup as it adds a nice foundation of contrast that focuses your attention on the rest of the gear on top of it. 
Who says you need a ton of money to make something this good looking? Leo's setup is a prime example of that, ladies and gentlemen. He even built a stand out of Legos for his Asus notebook. You can't get more budget than that. But what I love most about this setup is the little things, like how he used two clone troopers that are pretending to hold up his monitor. It's so subtle, yet very clever, which not only adds a bit of personality, but also stays true to the overall theme. This setup is so simple when you break it down, yet very effective. All it takes is the perfect combination of colors and gear to make something so aesthetically pleasing to the eyes, and I feel like Leo nailed every aspect of it while maintaining both function and form. These are the type of budget setups that I want to see more of on the show. Thank you, Leo, for sharing this with us. Up next is Joseph from California and his super budget-friendly setup. He actually spent less than $1,000 for everything here. Even though Joseph was going for a minimalistic clean setup, I can't help but focus on those monitor cables in the back, which is odd considering he did a really great job with the rest of the cables in the setup. So why not just pick up a few zip ties and group the wires in the back together? It's such a simple fix. I do have to say the riser was a great idea to lift up the monitor to eye level, but I would have gone with a black or white option so it blends in with the setup a lot better. I found a really cool riser on Amazon that also includes a tiny drawer and a phone stand, which I'll leave a link below if anyone wants to check it out. And finally, the PC powering the setup is used for gaming, video editing, and homework. It looks like it's a pre-built Dell and Spiron that he upgraded with a GT 1030 graphics card. Despite a few minor recommendations, I think you built a pretty good setup on a super tight budget. Keep up the good work. Here's another really cool budget-friendly custom gaming setup from Marco coming all the way from Serbia. He built the desk all by himself and he skinned it in black carbon fiber vinyl to add a bit of texture to it. And judging by the cable management pictures, it used to be a brown desk before it got skinned. He's rocking a single 22-inch monitor with a set of bloody peripherals. We got the B328 keyboard and the T70 gaming mouse with a Marvo headset hanging from the corner of the desk. There's actually a few more custom mods he has done to the setup, and they are mostly to the PC. He custom painted the filters on the front and the top of the case, as well as the motherboard tray inside, but he even took it a bit further and painted the power supply cables in white as well. What? That has to be some serious dedication there, but if you're gonna go through the trouble of painting all those parts, why didn't you paint or skin the SSD? Clearly you have the skills to do both. The only thing that doesn't make sense to me is the color scheme. It's kind of all over the place. We have black and white, black and red, and a bit of green accent lighting from the LEDs. It's looking like a circus themed setup. But other than that, I really like the mods you have done here while staying under a tight budget. Wrapping up the episode is Sunny coming all the way from Hong Kong and his peculiar setup. When I first saw this weird combination of the Linman tabletop and Alex Jor, I had this reaction that I can't really explain, so I'm just gonna show you one of the emotes we have on our server. This was my reaction. But after a few minutes of roasting the setup in my mind, I started to actually dig the layout for some odd reason. Not only does he add extra legroom space underneath the desk by creating more distance between the Alex Jors, but he's also able to fit more things on the top of the desk as well. When you think about it, if you align the tabletop with the Alex drawers perfectly, he wouldn't have that extra space to put anything on it. So really, this is 200 IQ moves by Sunny. The rest of the setup looks pretty straightforward. We got dual displays and a Logitech keyboard paired with the Harpoon wireless mouse, but something is missing. What is powering the setup? Bet you guys didn't guess the PC was baked in one of the drawers. He's got a custom PC that he installed on the bottom drawer and he removed the backside to allow the hard air to escape. Pretty cool. Also, I don't know if this guy lives in a hotel or a skyscraper, but that view though. I would kill to live in a place with a view like that and his bed is right next to the window. That's pretty crazy. Imagine if you sleepwalk and decide to jump out the window. Has that ever happened? Pretty sick setup, Sunny. Thank you for sharing it with us. Thanks again to Omaze for sponsoring today's video. To enter for a chance to win $20,000 towards your dream setup and help support a great cause, visit omaze.com source. And that does it for today's video. We did go over 10 setups, so do take your time and vote on your favorite in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoy these longer Setup Wars videos, consider dropping a like so I can do more for you. And if you're new here, consider subscribing because I do Setup Wars every single Monday. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love your beautiful faces and we will see you in the next one.